are like the OZN, for example, is the OZN during uh, the entire day, the entire European session, uh, ASEAN session and the first part of the London session, the pair was upward. It has made an, an interesting downward retracement up to the home base and it seems to reject the home base. And uh, the fact that it reject the home base um, may be indicative that the OZN may still uh, go upward uh, during the second half of the um, uh, London session and the first half of the uh, US session. And so if we have, or if I see an upward setup, so a long setup, I will describe how I will handle the corresponding movement with the Maxam ETF. Uh, similarly, let's take for example the pound yen. With the pound yen, on the time bar chart, we are uh, downward for a long time period now. So we we are in an extended downtrend. This means that progressively the odds will go in favor to um, a, a reversal, and so for uh, a long trade. And uh, it seems that we have that kind of reversal here in the CRB chart, we have the white line beginning to show an inflection point, the green line showing an inflection point, and we have now a BT, a BT mo here with this candle. And so, no, and we, can, we, we see that the, the, the momentum is weakening uh, to the downside. And so this means that it will most probably indicate a gain of momentum to the upside. And uh, the pound kiwi, uh, the pound kiwi, however, is still showing a down movement in the time bar chart uh, in this case. So we, we have something uh, which is somewhat contradictory here, but we may have a fast reversal here, okay? We may have a fast reversal. We have the white line already making a point of inflection. The green line seems to indicate the same thing. So I would be tempted to consider the long <clears throat> setup here with the pound kiwi. And so here, my my stop. I would place my stop loss here, of course, uh, after the bottom of the two uh, ETF lines and uh, below the the price. The, the, the bottom in the price and my entry, sorry, my entry would have been here. Okay, somewhere here, or one or two pips above. So let's say here. It's a pity. It, uh, I will draw it in the other direction. It is right on the white line, but this is just a, a coincidence. And so the stop loss size is around. It's a big one, 33 pips plus the spread, which is typically for the pound. Uh, Kiwi around four to five pips on this uh, platform. So let's check pound kiwi. Uh, where is my pound kiwi? Five, 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 five and a half. Okay. <clears throat> so let's consider an average of five pips. Um, I have had a very recent update of MetaTrader here. Uh, in fact, a few minutes before I. Uh, logged in in the room, so we are now at the version, uh, the build uh, 890. Normally this new uh, build of MetaTrader uh, must be compatible with the MTM, but I will not take the risk here to use the MTM. What I would like to do uh, one of these days is to show you how the MTM works with the CRV chart and how easy it is to handle a trade with the, with the MTM. The second point I want to uh, explain and I will illustrate today is because I don't uh, expect something spectacular today, uh, <clears throat> so short-lived movement, uh, what, I would, what I will consider as I explain uh, very often is each trade will be handled as if the trade, the price was in a choppy mode, okay? And so this means until the choppy mode seems to exist, no scalings, and an MX of course, and an XXX after that. Okay. Well, <clears throat> so let's see what will happen then. The OZN uh, is interesting too. We see that on the time bar chart, we have always to pay attention to what is happening on the time bar chart. We may have a home base uh, rejection, and so a setup, a long setup, will be interesting. 
if the long the, the, the uptrend uh, resumes uh, after that rejection and if the uptrend resume we will have a reversal in the CRV chart now let's enlarge the pound kiwi chart here that way and let's keep the time bar chart here so we have we may have at the close of this candle if it is a red candle an exit setup given in the uh, store RSI but we need to wait for the setup bar to close of course now my rule uh, now uh, compared to what I was doing in the past is if uh, my the, the profit or if the result I can have on the first MX is not large enough I will skip the MX I take the MX only if the profit is interesting enough in the past I was systematically making the DMX even if the DMX was a small profit or a small loss uh, in order to reduce the risk on the position but after analyzing statistically uh, several thousands of trade I have made I have realized that should have I made an MX when the profit was large enough then globally on the long term my profit would have been a little larger and so I have changed my uh, policy and so now I make an MX only if the profit is uh, large enough and we can consider two type of uh, size for the profit when we can consider it is large enough <clears throat> either the profit is uh, of the same size as the stop loss size we don't need to have exactly the same size it may be a little smaller it may be a little larger it can be larger of course or when we have the IZ line uh, approximately the same size as the distance from the entry uh, price to the IZ uh, line so we can choose uh, one or the other as alternative and when the price begins to move I'm going to <coughs> display to, to move the pound Kiwi time bar chart here to, to keep it always under my high because I want to see when the price will reach if it is the case either the tiger tunnel and the red balance line and then the uh, home base channel so now the price uh, is moving nicely you see 30 pips I'm going to uh, to adjust the stop loss we we had a stop loss of 38 pips I have forgotten to note it the size of the stop loss uh, let me make a small uh, interruption I'm, com I'm coming back immediately so hold on please okay I'm back <clears throat> so uh, as I was telling is uh, because the price is moving uh, somewhat in favor of the trade you see 32 pips approximately for the moment the size of the stop loss we can begin <laughs> to think adjusting the stop loss and on the CRB chart I like to keep two or three levels of resistance between the price and the stop loss the first level of resistance is of course the home base channel here the price now is above the home base channel we can use either the home base or the entire home base channel here the price has closed above the home base and seems to move uh, above the second level is the mid tiger tunnel uh, remember that the home base it's itself a tiger tunnel so this would represent uh, the second level of resistance this would provide a stop loss of 22 pips or we can use a third one which would be this gray tiger tunnel here and so let's begin to move the stop loss here 
below this gray tiger tunnel, reducing the entire risk to, uh, let's say, 5 pips plus the spread, plus 5, uh, 10 pips <coughs> on this uh, on this movement. We can see that the store Erosai will make a sure M, so we will have necessarily an exit setup appearing uh, very soon. And we can even <laughs> have an idea what the price can go uh, before giving that um, uh, that M. We see here on the time bar chart that the price is facing now the red uh, balance line and the gray tiger tunnel. These two lines, which are very close together, can act as the resistance uh, activating or triggering the exit setup. But it is not because we will have an exit setup that we will make an MX. We need to see the price following through against the trade. So let's wait and see. <clears throat> and the pound QE now has given, has crossed, uh, the, the two ETF lines on the pound QE have crossed to the upside on the time bar chart. So I got on the dashboard the signal for that. So the alert. It's not a signal, it's an alert. And what I would do here if the price closes two or three bars above the home base or the home base channel, I will tighten my stop loss at the mid tiger tunnel here in order to have two levels of resistance, the home base and the mid tiger tunnel. And if this happens, now the trade will be a risk free trade. Remember, I have said that I will. I handle these kinds of situations as a trade in a choppy mode, and by the way, we can see that indeed we are in a highly a choppy mode, at least in the CRB chart. In the time bar chart also somewhat, we are in a choppy mode now, not a lot of regularity in the movement. I would not be surprised to see the price retracing that entire down movement and come in that area, perhaps to the level of the on base. Another alternative to adjust the stop loss also is to use the the PZ levels here, and I add, uh, that PZ level indicator can be used exactly uh, similarly as the red balance line. Uh, sorry, as the blue balance line in the time bar chart. So adjusting the stop loss along it, a few pips below or above, depending on the direction of the trade. But because we are in a choppy mode, uh, or I consider we are in a choppy mode, I prefer to tighten my stop loss based on my <coughs> guideline of two or three levels of resistance. This allows to uh, adjust regularly the stop loss by a uh, big amount. Now we have one, two, three bars having closed above the home base, or two above the home base channel. So I can now tighten my stop loss here around the mid tiger tunnel here. Setting the trade as a risk free trade, the stop loss is at sorry the, the stop loss is at plus nine pips above the, the entry price, plus nine minus the spread five, this means we have a four pips uh, profit guaranteed in the worst case in that um, situation. So Now, the next level of resistance the price will reach will be the home base channel in the time uh, bar chart.
and if we get at some moment um, an evidence that the trend will become a, a larger trend with enough regularity in the price movement, so if the price uh, goes outside the choppy mode, we can consider making some, uh, some scalings. We have the mid tiger tunnel here. Let's draw a line that way, approximately at, mid, at the mid distance. Yeah, I'm right. And we have one bar closing above. If we have a second one and the price follow through, I will adjust my stop loss below the home base channel in such a way to keep always two levels of resistance. But we have to pay attention now. Uh, if that red candle closes as a red one, we will have the M. Uh, forming in the store RSI and a top in the green Vinini too. What I can do, because I don't have the MTM here, I can prepare a vertical line just to go a little faster in case of Okay, now we can adjust the stop loss here. The price has moved enough so that way. We have again to pay attention because, okay, let's check. No, not yet, but we have the top in the green view. So here we have to make an MX here. Okay, so here we have an MX at two or three pips, let's say three pips, so right here, an MX, MX1, providing a first profit from here to here. You see, let's say, if you, let's consider a small uh, slippage, 51 pips minus the spread, five pips, 46 pips, plus 46 pips. Okay, which is larger than half, one half R. We have to divide by two. These units contribute for half of the result of the entire trade. And we are sure that the second unit will make a minimum profit of 20 pips. Know that on the time bar chart we are um, in a mid tiger tunnel which is not a surprise to see the price reversing on such kind of levels. The Tiger Tunnels and the Mid-Tiger Tunnels are always potential resistance area for the price movement. Now, if the price resumed the up movement, normally this would be an opportunity to make, an, to make a scaling. But under such circumstances, because we are still in a rather choppy mode, uh, I always uh, give the priority to the risk aspect, so no scalings for the moment. And I can mark my chart, I can, I can clean my chart in the meantime. What is frustrating with MetaTrader is when we are in a CRB chart and we draw a line, uh, the line are extended with the, with the new bar. Um, the, the average true range as indicated here um, with the average true range calculator was 19 pips and so I have divided by two so I have taken a range size of nine pips and a half. Okay. And so we can continue to mark the chart. So we had a nice top in the green Vinini. And you can see in this case, the green Vinini has given a top one bar earlier than the store RSI. Now the store RSI on the next candle has made its M. And we knew the store RSI would have given, would have made an M. And we may be possibly stopped out because remember the stop loss is here.
<coughs> Indeed, the MX has been made, so here so we have our MX, let's say just below the, the stop loss, so MX, uh, sorry, XXX, XXX, even if the price resume immediately, so the price has crossed enough the stop loss level for us to be forced to push on the trigger, perhaps with a small slippage. And so this, the second unit has made, not a lot, but still a profit, 25 pips minus the spread, 20 pips, okay? <coughs> 